All right, so I should. All right, so I should probably name this Simple Sunday instead of Simple Saturday because I'm only posting it on Sunday. So welcome to Simple Sunday. Today we're gonna talk about three basic tips of photography again. And as you know, at the end of the video, I'll give you a free preset. So stay tuned till the end of the video so that you can get a free preset. Let's start. We all have been in a situation where we have to take a zoomed in shot or a macro shot. Now, you can't buy a separate lens for your smartphone just for the sake of that one shot. So this is where the trick kicks in. And what is the trick? Instead of just putting your phone up close to your subject, try zooming it from a farther distance. I know it can reduce your resolution a bit, but that can get you really close to the subject. How I'll show you. So let's take an example of shooting a small object. Let's try to focus on the headphone jack right here or take a pen or something smaller. If you want to shoot these small objects, the basic instinct is we try to get as close as possible. Now this makes it go out of focus because the sensors on the smartphone are small and they cannot detect these tiny objects, not only sensors, but also connects to the autofocus points on the smartphone objects. So the smartphone might try to focus the object based on its capabilities. All right, let's not get technical. As a trick, what I want to say is move a little bit further away from the object you want to shoot and then try to focus it and then zoom in. You may compromise in the quality of the photo, but you get a sharper photo. You will not scratch your head trying to focus the damn thing. Most of the smartphones nowadays come with this huge 48 or 104 megapixel camera. So you can easily take a photo at this range and easily crop in without losing any quality. This is the magic. So if you are out on a sunny day and you have your camera with you, you want to do a classic and fancy photo shoot, but you are only aware with the shutter speed, ISO and something like aperture. You don't know what to set your camera to. In that case, this trick will help you. Just switch your dial to your auto mode, then the camera will decide for itself. Now, you can paste the same settings onto your manual mode so that you can get a foundation or a base and so that you can tweak your photo likewise. Now, the camera here on this day at this brightness shows 1 by 320 of the shutter speed and f9 and ISO at 200. So, if I want this same settings to be on my manual mode, I'll paste the same settings so that I can get a clearer picture and if I don't like the brightness of the photo I'll just increase the ISO or decrease the shutter speed now the aperture mode and the shutter mode may help you in this but if you put the camera in the shutter mode and you want a depth of focus that you can decide then it is of no use and similarly with the aperture also if you want to take a photo at a higher speed then if you are shooting in the aperture mode then what is the use so just switch on to the auto mode copy the settings into your manual mode and you can get a crispier photo Coming to our favorite part of the video, the preset giveaway. Now, if you have something like sky in the background, this preset is way more useful because the preset deals with the skies, especially in the background. So download the preset and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more presets like this. Coming to our imaginary situation. For the people who are new to the channel, I'm someone who wants to give a imaginary situation for you. So today's imaginary situation is what if you get 1000 crores in your bank account right away? What will you do with that money? With that huge amount of money? How would you spend it? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for the video. Signing off.